Hello everyone and welcome back to High Mathematics. Really interesting math problem. Today we have a plus b equal to 1, a square plus b square equal to 2 and we need to find a to the 8 plus b to the 8. So this sum we need to find. And a lot of students do this mistake. They say, okay, it looks like a plus b, this is the first power, this is 1, a square plus b square equal to 2 and they say, okay, it's working like that, right here 2, right here 2 on the right, right here 8, so the answer is 8. And they, a lot of students tell this, this is the answer, so a to the 8 plus b to the 8 equal to 8. But this is absolutely incorrect, because in this video I'm going to show you a really good approach, how can we solve it, and I hope you will enjoy it, and I hope you understand this, this method. Okay, first of all, I want to start with this identity. So if we have, for example, a to the fourth, if we have a to the fourth plus b to the fourth, and if we raise these sum to the square, okay? If we rate this to the second power. Okay, how can we rate it? This is a classic formula a plus b square, but in, instead of this a, we have a to the fourth. So it doesn't matter for us. We have a to the fourth power. We have squared this plus b to the fourth squared and plus two times a to the fourth, so times the product and times b to the fourth. Yeah, we have this, this formula. This is a classic formula from school a plus b square. If you don't understand, this is this formula, but with, with a little bit changes. So a plus b squared, we will have like a square plus b square and plus 2ab. Yeah, this is our formula. And this is the same formula, but instead of a, we have a to the fourth. Doesn't matter for us. And take a look closely. We have this situation. A lot of students don't know what to do with this, but we can easily raise this because if we have x to the power a, raised to the power b, we can write it as x to the power a times b. And this is maybe the main three identity, the main three formulas right here that we need to solve this question. So first, let's simplify this first, first equation. So a to the fourth plus b to the fourth squared equal to a to the eighth power, because we multiply it, four times two, we have a to the eighth plus b to the eighth and plus 2 times, in this case, we have really interesting moment because we have situation like x to the power a times, so situation x to the power a times, times y to the power a. So the same, is the same power, but different basis. How can we write it? We can write it as a times b, all raised to the fourth power, yeah? I hope you understand that this is maybe the power rule, so I hope you, you know this information. Okay, we have this formula and I want to mention one really interesting moment. We need to find a to the eighth plus b to the eighth. And we have this expression right here. So if we bring this element to the left, we will have like this one. So a to the eighth plus b to the eighth equal to, we have this expression minus this expression. So we have like a to the fourth plus b to the fourth. We have squared and minus 2 times a times b raised to the fourth power. Yeah, so I hope you understand this step. And if you look closely, this is our question that we need to find. We have a to the 8 plus b to the 8, this sum, and we have this sum right here. So only we need this a to the fourth plus b to the fourth and the product a times b. Yeah, so we need only these two elements to find the 8th power. Okay, let's try to solve it. Let's try to find these elements. We need this one and this one. Let's start with this formula, a plus b squared. I want to rewrite it right here. So a plus b squared. This is equal to a squared plus b squared and plus 2ab. Yeah. And let's look closely to this formula. If you're talking about a plus b, we have this a plus b right here equal to 1. Yeah. So this is equal to 1. If you're talking about sum of squares, a square plus b square, we have this sum right here, right here, we have equal to 2. And as a result, as you can see, 1 square equal to 2 plus 2ab, two from here we can easily find our ab, because we will have like 1 minus 2, we will have minus 1, so ab equal to minus 1 half. And this is really good because we finally find something that we really need because a, b we have right here, just in our case, in our formula. We need to find this one, a to the fourth plus b to the fourth. We really need this. Find a to the fourth plus b to the fourth. But how can we find this fourth power? Let's try to raise a square 
plus b square, let's try to raise this to the second power. If we raise this, so the same formula as, as before, we will have like a to the fourth plus b to the fourth and plus 2 times a times b, of course squared. Yeah, so we have this, this is our identity that we near, really need in our case. And let's look closely to this formula. So a square plus b square, we know it, a square plus b square equal to 2. So right here we have 2. a to the fourth plus b to the fourth, we need to find, so we don't know about this a to the fourth. Right here a, b, we know it, minus 1 half. So as a result, we know absolutely all things that we need because we have like constant right here we need to find it and right here we can easily raise this to the second power. So what, exp what expression we will have? So I just need this space right here. So we will have like the next one. We will have like 2 square from here. So 2 square plus equal to a to the fourth plus b to the fourth and plus 2 plus 2 times minus 1 half squared. Yeah, we have this, this situation. Okay, let's try to solve it. a to the fourth plus b to the fourth. We let, let this right here on the right, but we need to subtract this element. Minus 1 half squared, this is 1 fourth times 2. We will have like 1 half, only 1 half, equal to 1 half. And as a result, this a to the fourth plus b to the fourth equal to 2 square 4 and minus this one, minus 1 half right here, this is 1 half, minus 1 half. And as a result, we will have like 7 half, I guess, yeah, 7 half. So a to the fourth plus b to the fourth equal to 7 half. And this is really good, because finally we find expressions that we really need right here, because let's look at our question. We need to find the sum of 8's power. We need to know the sum of 4's power, so a to the fourth plus b to the fourth, we know it right now using this, this case, and we need a product, AB, so we found it before, we have AB equal to 1 half, and let's plug in all of these elements, so A, a to the 8th plus B to the 8th, we will have in parentheses A to the 4th plus B to the 4th, as, as a result, oh I write this formula right here once more, I just want you to understand, equal to A to the 4th plus B to the 4th raised to the square, and minus 2 times a times b raised to the fourth power. Yeah, and right now let's mention what we what we know. Like a b equal to minus 1 half, yeah? a to the fourth plus b to the fourth equal to right here 7 half. And let's plug in all of this element. So we have like a to the eighth plus b to the eighth equal to, so 7 half square, yeah? 7 half squared minus, so 7 half squared minus 2 times minus 1 half to the fourth power, yeah, equal to 7 half squared, what about it? 49 over 4, we raise our numerator and denominator, and minus 2 times minus 1 half to the fourth power, the sign will be positive because this is even power, and we have like 2 to the fourth equal to 16, so 2 times 16, so 1 over 16. Simplify this a little bit, we will have like 49 over 4 and minus right here, cancel real quick, and minus 1 over, over 8. Let's find common denominator, the last step right here, we will have like 8 right here, right here we'll have 2, right here we'll have 1, so we will have like 98 minus 1, which is equal to 97, 97 over, over 8. Yeah. So as you can see, we find our answer 97 over 8. If we divide it, we will have like, I guess, like 10, 11, 12. 12 and 1, eight, 1 over 8. This is our answer. So I write this answer right here. So answer. We will have like a to the 8 plus b to the 8 equal to 97 over over 8. And if you look closely to this, this is not like an 8 as we think before. This is a wrong way to solve it. We need to, we need not like solve it in one or two lines. As you can see, a long and complicated solution. So this is our answer. So a to the 8 plus b to the 8 equal to 97 over 8. I hope you understand this explanation. If you still have any question, write a question in comment. I try to help everyone. And thank you so much for watching, for your support. If you 
If you still have any question about this problem, this is really interesting problem. So step by step, we need to get closer and closer to this eight, to the eight plus b to the eight. And I hope you enjoy this explanation. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing. I really appreciate it and see you in the next videos. Have a great day.